Now I'm going to show you the page style manager. Um, go up to project and page style manager. That's the easiest way to get it. So you can choose your page alignment. I'll just zoom in here so you can see it. By default it's centered. You can switch it to left align, um, but centered is usually a more professional way to do it. You can add a different color to your background. So, um, you know, I can choose a, sort of a, a lime green color. You can also choose a different um, background. Now this applies it to all of your pages. So just remember that, so I'll click OK. And now all of my pages here have that background. If I go to Page Style Manager and I add a style, so it might be um, Picture Background. And here I might choose an image and instead I will find an image here. Let's see if I can find it. Documents, Images Optimized and I think this is the largest one. Hang on, I'll just find the largest one here. Might get the original. There we go. This image is very large and may cause it. Would I like to optimize it? Yes, that's fine. Image alignment, let's do that from the middle and repeat. I will do stretch to cover and that way it will resize when I stretch and squish the browser window. So I'm going to click OK. But you see how that hasn't occurred here because I haven't applied that. So I've got this. Um, I want to change my style. I just click on the background where there's a blank area and rather than default, I'm going to do picture background. So now we can see, we can just apply that to whichever pages we want and it doesn't affect the other pages. And in fact, if I create a new page, um, I'm just going to call this test and we go to have a look at it, it's got the default style applied to it. If you want to add a background or change the colour on one and override the style, all you have to do is click on the background and over in the inspector pane in the style tab, we just change the colour there or add an image there. So I might want that light blue. And that is the only page where that is applied and it overrides the style. So now if I go to preview, I'm just going to open up the tab for navigation. So I've got my green background, I've got my image, and you can see that with my settings for the image, it stretches and squashes from the middle, and that's what you want. You don't necessarily want it to be cropped, uh, sorry, um, to have blank spaces. You don't want it to tile unnecessarily unless you're going for that really retro, horrible 90s look. Um, but this, is a, this can be an effective way of putting a background in.